The English actor Daniel Craig recently confirmed that his days as 007 are over, which is a bit of a shame. He was always sort of a bit of a life coach for me. <laughs> and Chris Evans has recently hung up his shield as Captain America. But lucky for us and me, they're now teaming up for a murder mystery, Knives Out. Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father. Why are you here? I suspect foul play. It's a good old-fashioned whodunit film. What? What? <laughs> Featuring a star-studded ensemble cast led by Daniel Craig. As Detective Blanc, he investigates the murder of the patriarch of a quirky and dysfunctional family. The family is truly desperate. When people get desperate, the nerves come out. The project's Kim Crossman did some sleuthing of her own to track down the stars in L.A. One of my favourite scenes is seeing you rock out in the car to uh, yeah. a jam. Yeah. Boy. Wasn't it great? So funny. I'm not really a great singer, but I, I listened to it and I didn't want him to be a great singer either. Right. <laughs> Usefully. The thing with the earphones was my idea on the day. I said, give me some earphones. Because I, I wanted I kind of thought it would be better if I was sort of singing out of tune. I've been to New Zealand. What were you in New Zealand for? I was there shooting a movie a long time ago for HBO. Uh, and I was in this little place called Christchurch. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Twizel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, sang yeah. in Twizel. And I went, shout out to Twizel. Yeah, shout out to Twizel. They're on the map. And, and, uh, uh, and I went fishing mm -hmm. in those beautiful streams off of Mount Cook. Uh -huh. I caught the most beautiful rainbow trout you've ever seen. Really? Oh, my God, that is so beautiful. All right, what is this? What's this arrangement? Mr. Drosdale. CSI KFC? Now, I'm going to assume it's the magic of movies that you didn't actually vomit in Chris's face. Is that, are we going to do some assumption? You really, to. really want to know? As you want to live with the fantasy of <laughs> thinking I, I did? I think I do want to know. We had this machine that we, they put it inside and it would just like smash it in his face. But I had the click on my hand. Oh, you were in control? She, yes. She had all the power. So he would, I would actually do it in different moments on my speech so he wouldn't. See it coming. You can't anticipate. Yeah. Oh, so how do you? It's very satisfying. How do you not away from? That's the from... hardest part to try and not. You're so good at acting, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at receiving puke. What can yeah. I say? I know. Huh. Did he play the far Walter? Is Richard having an affair? That's some heavy-duty conjecture. Leading into the festive season, and I hope a lot of families don't experience what this family did, what would your advice be to people gathering as a family, which can be stressful for some groups? Take your anger and resentment mm -hmm. and leave it at home because carrying around anger and resentment is like carrying around a red-hot coal in your own tummy, mm -hmm. expecting it to burn somebody over there. That's crazy. Mr. Blanc, I know who you are. I read your profile in The New Yorker. I found it delightful. Jamie, if you were in a pickle and you... You were a pickle. If you were a pickle... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be dill. Oh, you'd be dill. Sour baby. dill. <laughs> if you were in a pickle and you could either uh, call on Detective Blanc or James Bond to help you, who would you call? Well, You're and I was single? Yep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. It's a, a legit question. It is a very legit. Happily question. married, but just asking legit, like in a fantasy world. Fantasy land. I might go across the pond. That's you know what I'm saying? You're blushing, sir. I've, you I've, can been, blush. I've been I'm... blushing for three days sitting with her. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the anger and resentment at home. You can see knives out in cinemas now.